I'm Patrick Windhorst, State Representative in the 117th District, which is all or part of 10 counties in southernmost Illinois. Recently, United States Representative Sean Caston called out former Speaker Mike Madigan, asking for him to resign his position as Cook County Democratic, as a Cook County Democratic Committee person, and added that public service is a sacred trust. I couldn't agree more. Madigan should resign, and we should be actively working to enhance anti-corruption laws in Illinois. Congressman Kasten is the highest ranking Democrat in our state to call for significant change and to not accept the status quo of the Madigan era. I was here last week after the four guilty verdicts were delivered, making the case that we need ethics reforms that would help stamp out corruption in our state. In my remarks shortly after the verdicts, here's what I said. We believe legislators shouldn't be lobbyists. We believe in halting the revolving door. We believe in empowering the legislative inspector general with subpoena powers so that the office may perform thorough corruption investigations and root out bad behavior. Yesterday in this very room, we heard from former Democratic Governor Pat Quinn on this same topic. Governor Quinn knows we need change. Representative Kasten is calling for change. So the question is, where are the House and Senate Democrats on ethics reform? What is it going to take? How many more elected officials need to be arrested or imprisoned or strike a plea deal with the federal government before the Democratic leaders and rank and file members will wake up and get to work? We don't need a special session. House Republicans are already sponsoring a long list of bills that could pass this General Assembly in the remaining balance of this session that would begin to address the culture of corruption that continues under this dome. 